you lovely lot and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Katie and we are going to delve into the August, also known as box number 96 of the Scroller Box variety. If you're new to this channel or if you're new to Scroller Box, uh, let, me, let me tell you a little bit about it. So every month you will get mystery art supplies and within the box you will have a print by a featured artist. This month's featured artist is Willie Watt and there is a definite architecture theme going on there, not only with the subject but obviously with those colours used. We also have a scroll zine which we'll get into in a bit. We have a surface to work on and this month's surface appears to be some marker paper so it's obviously going to be markers. We also get a delightful sweet treat every month and this month's sweet treat is a Highland Toffee. Loki love these to be fair, they used to be like a second currency at primary school and I, I yeah I'm a bit, bit weak to them. I, I like caramelly toffee kind of sweets, just putting that out there for no reason. We also have a sticker every month and I might as well tell you, I put all of mine on these big A2 art folders. I've got a few got a few on the go and obviously I've got quite a few stickers on there and the scroller box and the upgrade ones do find their way onto there eventually and I like it. So returning to the scroller zine, we obviously have some information about the supplies but I'll go into that a little bit more whilst I'm swatching. We also have a bit of a feature interview with the artist, obviously the one that's on the print. We have some helpful handy hints and tips, that was difficult to say, but obviously it's to help you use your materials to the best way possible or obviously you can just do your own thing. And I'm obviously quickly flicking through this magazine now but I do like to sit and have a brew with it. Obviously I'd sit and eat the candy but that's long gone now. Additionally, one of the lovely things about these magazines is the Scroller Gallery and every month artists who have submitted to the Scroller Challenge will get selected and put in the magazine and it's an awesome feeling when you do. So well done guys who made it onto that page. And of course, let us not forget the top three. Well done to you. There's some gorgeous stuff there. I think that was from a couple of boxes ago or last month's box where it was graphite and metallic gold pen. The final page usually contains some stuff about art history relevant to the theme of the box and this month's prompt is point of view, but we'll get to that after we've done some swatching. The first item, well technically the second because the surface is also included in the supplies, but the first item I'm going to be mark making with is the Edin Fine Line Pen. It's an Edin 1880, it's in a size 01 and it's actually a really nice smooth pen. I think it's waterproof once it's fully dried, but more importantly, it is marker proof, which is what we're going to move on to next. But overall, that line of pen was really nice, glided over the paper, and I've used it in my Scroller Blanks book. That's so hard to say. And that worked really nicely in there as well. It's been a bit of a go to pen since recording this video. But let us take a look at these markers because they are a bit of an exclusive at the moment. According to the Scroller magazine, we are the first to have a play with this marker set. It has a soft brush at one end and a fine liner tip at the other. And it's a proper fine liner, not a bullet tip. So that, that could be game changing in the long run. The six colours that we have are a light pigeon blue. We have a green clay, a warm grey a warm grey version 3, a warm grey version 4 and a dark sepia, sepia, I never know how to say that. And obviously we've got we've got some nice sort of stone colours there, they're quite pastel-y apart from the very dark colours there and that's quite quite interesting to work with, we don't mind a restricted palette on this channel do we? Anyway, whilst I'm swatching away in the background there, I guess I'll have a little chat with you guys. So yeah, you'll notice I haven't posted as much just as recently and it's not that I haven't wanted to, but I also haven't wanted to either. There's no art block or anything really at the moment. I'm a little bit stuck in some areas, but 
I'm kind of flourishing in other areas as a result. I'm really enjoying creating lino prints at the moment and I am still filming videos but they do take quite a while to put together especially with it being quite technical and with me being quite new to it so they are still coming but I've, I've just slowed it down a little bit. If you've been watching this year as well, I've, I've not really had a great year, it's been quite stressful at times and that's not an excuse and I don't want any sympathy but it is a bit of a reason as to perhaps why I'm just taking a little bit of a step back at the moment, just taking care of myself creatively and getting back into enjoying the art again rather than feeling like I'm having to put a video out for you guys because I haven't. I'd rather put one out because I want to and I think what I'm making and what I'm creating You'll enjoy watching, you'll find helpful, all of the usual reasons why I love doing this. Another reason as well why I haven't published as much just lately is I I'm sorting my studio space out and I I'd, I'd sorted it out at the start of the year and I absolutely hated what I did with it. It just wasn't working out so it's a very spur of the moment thing as I'm sure we've all been there. I I've had to do it again and it's getting there. It's still very messy and I have phases of where right, I'm gonna work on this particular area of the room and then I get so distracted because you know when you're looking through your old art supplies and then you find something really interesting you think, oh, I'll just play with that and then two hours have gone by. Oh, I'll look through like some old sketchbooks or some art books that I've got and then that's another two hours gone and no tidying up and no sorting the room out has happened and can any of you guys relate to that? Is this like an arty thing? But yeah, that will explain a little bit as to why I haven't published as much. I just, I just want to organise all of my stuff. It, it did get quite chaotic. I mean, it still is, but it's a different kind of chaos. It's all nice, shiny new chaos and well, it, there's there's a couple of reasons why I haven't posted as much. It's not that I don't want to, it's just it's just not quite been the right time. But I've still been creative off camera. I've not got art block. I'm just sort of focusing in other areas at the moment. And that's totally fine. And I'll encourage you guys to do that too. There's always a lot of pressure to put stuff on social media and I think sometimes it can pull away from creativity, so it's okay to step back. You have my royal permission. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's talk about what's going on. So the prompt was point of view, and again, I, I don't have art block. I've just, I just wanted to do other stuff and and use these in my sketchbook rather than on the marker paper. I'm not a fan of marker paper anyway. This was nice marker paper, but. I'm just not a fan of it. It did work very well with the pens though. But for the prompt, I, I I don't know. I wasn't hugely feeling it, but that's me. That's okay. My idea was point of view, a, a character sitting on the moon, doing that framing thing with the hands, viewing the earth from the moon. It just seemed like a nice whimsical idea to do. I was super tempted to throw some isopropyl uh, I can never pronounce it, but rubbing alcohol on there to make the ink do groovy things because that's what I've been doing a lot of in my sketchbook just lately. But I resisted. I thought we shall keep it pure and scroller only. And the only thing I added on there was the pencil outline, which you can no longer see. Now returning back to what I said earlier about that sepia being really dark, it pretty much looks black, doesn't it? And I thought, well, that'll that'll be nice for the sky. So that's what I did. And then with the lighter, well, working from the darkest to the lightest greys, I just started to add the details in on the clothing on the character and just playing about with it, really. The pens themselves are really nice to use. I actually really do quite like the idea of having a fine tip on there. Sometimes, even when I have the most fanciest, finest tip on a brush one, they can get a little bit dull. If you put too much pressure on it, you don't quite get the fine line that you want. So actually having a pen with a fine tip on there was chef's kiss good. And I was really glad to be able to try it. And I can't wait to play about with it a little bit more. The colours themselves were really interesting too. They are very neutral, very... Well, very neutral, but that's okay. It was nice to just see what I could do with those. Even the blue and the green was very light, but I I'm not complaining. You can, you, we all know you can build up the layers with mark pens. And you know what? 
actually just having just those two very subtle colours in there compared with all that neutral that was going on, it actually did make it a little bit more impactful and I appreciated that. I know it's only been a quick video but again thank you as always for tuning in, I do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the waffling, I hope you've enjoyed the artwork too and if you want to watch some more videos there should be some on screen for you to click and watch at your leisure. I've got a double up crate box video coming up which will have July's and August in there so stay tuned for that and I'll see you lovely lot soon. Bye!